when I first started audio engineering, I remember finding it very difficult to get a professional sound. And no matter how much time and effort I put into my mixes, it always felt like an uphill battle trying to finish a song. My music was not hitting like the other music I enjoyed listening to, and I was starting to lose confidence in my ability to make music as a whole. And although I took advice online about learning how to use my stock plugins to get a better sound, I felt limited. Because the one thing I noticed was that a lot of professional engineers were still using third party plugins to achieve great sounding mixes. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all the essential plugins you would need to have a better time achieving a great sound as a beginner audio engineer. So if making great music is something that you're into, then don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more engineering knowledge like this. Now, although there are thousands of plugins to choose from online, looking at every single plugin would only confuse you and distract you from the overall goal, which is having a better time creating great music. So to clear any confusion when dealing with plugins, we have to break them down into different categories so that way we know the purpose of the plugins, like what they do, knowing how and when to use them, and to also get a better understanding of what plugins are available that will help us achieve a great sounding end result quickly within each category. Keep in mind, these are all paid plugins and although some may be a bit more expensive to get into, especially for beginners, there will still be affordable plugin options within each category. So the first category of plugins on our list is equalizers, which is also commonly known as an EQ. The main purpose of an EQ is to shape the tonal balance of a track by adjusting the level of specific frequency ranges within a given source. Without the proper EQ, it can be a challenge to achieve a clear balanced mix because it will be much more difficult to fix issues like unbalanced frequencies and masking that can make your song sound harsh, cluttered, and muddy, making your music sound unprofessional overall. So to avoid this, we need the right EQs. As far as the different types of EQs you could choose from, there are parametric EQs, graphic EQs, passive EQs, intelligent EQs, and the list goes on. But to keep things simple, the two EQs I would recommend is a good parametric EQ for cleaning up and subtracting unwanted frequencies, and an analog styled EQ that has a bit more character and tone when boosting frequencies. For the parametric EQ, if you're on a strict budget, then I would just recommend for you to use your DAW stock EQ, because 9 times out of 10 it's going to be powerful enough to handle all the cleaning tasks that you would need it to do. But if you want the absolute best option and functionality, then there's really no other EQ that's greater and more versatile than the FabFilter Pro Q3. Even though this plugin comes with a pretty hefty price tag, it's 1000% worth it because it has more bands than you could ever need, a dynamic EQ function, and tons of other little bells and whistles in between that will help you achieve a great sounding mix effortlessly. But if that's still outside of your price range, then the next best option for you to use is the Waves F6. When compared to the FabFilter Pro Q3, this EQ is a little bit more limited, but is more affordable and still features a dynamic and mid-size section that most users will find useful as an upgrade from your traditional stock EQ. The only drawback from these digital parametric EQ plugins is that they are very transparent, which when you're subtracting frequencies, that's something that you want. But what if we wanted to boost frequencies within our mix. This is where our analog emulated EQs come in. So when we boost frequencies with an analog styled EQ, we'll get something that is going to add some nice harmonics, tone, and character to our signal that we usually won't get out of our regular parametric EQs. For this reason, I also recommend getting the Waves Puig Tech EQ plugins because again, they're affordable and will give our material that analog character it needs when boosting frequencies to sound good. Here's what it sounds like. Yeah, I need a bad bitch. Riding by my side Shawty wanna fuck with me, just my type And I took it to the hills one hell of a night And I'm loving how I feel, everything alright Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch Riding by my side Shawty wanna fuck with me, just my type And I took it to the hills one hell of a night And I'm loving how I feel, everything alright the next category of essential plugins we need for a great sounding mix is compressors. So for those who may not know, a compressor's main function is to control the dynamic range of a given signal by reducing the volume of the louder parts within a signal and raising the volume of the quieter parts to keep the level of whatever you're compressing more consistent within your mix. Without a great compressor plugin, your mix may suffer from uneven dynamics, making your song sound less cohesive, which can be distracting for your listener that will limit the overall impact and appeal for your music. So I'm going to play for you guys a quick example and take note of the consistency of the vocals and how clear it is to hear each word without the compression versus with the compression. Yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shawty wanna fuck with me, just my type. And I took it to the hills one hell of a night. And I'm 
loving how I feel, let me be alright. Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shorty wanna fuck with me, just my type. And I took her to the hills one hell of a night. And I'm loving how I feel, let me be alright. So as you can see, with the compression, it is much easier to hear all the details of every single word within the verse. So if you don't already know by now, compression is a huge concept you have to understand and wrap your head around if you want to get a clean, great sounding professional mix. But to help you understand easier and in practice, the three compressors I recommend for you to check out is the R compressor, the CLA-76, and the CLA-2A, all from Waves. The R compressor is a good all-around compressor because you have the full freedom and flexibility to tweak all your different parameters like threshold ratio, attack and release to really practice and understand what each setting of the compression is doing to your signal. As far as the other two compressors go, these are good to have because they are emulated from analog units, recreating the tone and character of vintage hardware compressors, which can add subtle harmonic distortion and saturation that can make your sound sound more engaging and lively within the mix. This also gives you a good foot through the door helping you understand what analog emulated units could do to your sound without having to break the bank by purchasing the actual hardware units making this analog sound more accessible for beginners so starting with the cla 2a it is very simple to use all you have to do is boost the peak reduction knob on the right until you see compression being applied to your signal by looking at the needle in the middle then add back whatever gain you took away from your signal with the gain knob on the left to achieve your compressed sound. Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shorty wanna fuck with me, just my type. And I took it to the hills one hell of a night. And I'm loving how I feel, everything alright. Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shorty wanna fuck with me, just my type. And I took it to the hills one hell of a night. And I'm loving how I feel, everything alright. With the 1176, you get a bit more control by being able to control the ratio, attack, and release of the compressor, but it's still slightly different than your traditional compressor because there's no threshold knob. And to get some compression, you have to boost the input and attenuate the output to achieve your desired compressed sound. Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shawty wanna fuck with me, just my type. And I took it to the hills one hell of a night. And I'm loving how I feel, everything alright. Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shawty wanna fuck with me, just my type. And I took it to the hills one hell of a night. And I'm loving how I feel, everything alright. The reason why I recommend this compressor is because it is very fast acting and has a specific aggressive tone that helps your vocals and drums cut through much easier within your mix. I know this is a lot of information to keep track of, but before we move on, if you're an artist or producer who's more focused on the process of creating music versus engineering it, then let me take the mixing and mastering off of your hands so you can focus on what really matters, creating more music. So if that's what you're looking for, then click the first link in the description down below to fill out a mix request form to get your music professionally mixed and mastered today. Now back to the video. Now that we got two of the basic but essential plugin categories covered, the next category of plugins you need for a great sounding mix is Reverb. For those who may not know, Reverb is a time-based plugin that can make sounds feel like they're in a small tight space or a large room, which can add more depth and dimension to your sound, making your music sound more immersive and 3D. Without the proper reverb, your mixes may sound flat, unnatural, and unconnected to other elements within your mix, which can end up making your music lack the depth and space it needs, making your music sound super dull and unprofessional. So for your reverb, you could get away with just using your regular stock reverb but if you want a nicer, more lush, realistic reverb sounding algorithm, then the two third party reverbs I would recommend is the Valhalla Vintage Verb and the Valhalla Supermassive. Like the name implies, the Valhalla Vintage Verb emulates vintage digital reverbs from the 1970s and the 1980s, which has smooth, high quality tails and a super simple interface that allows you to dial in great reverbs effortlessly. Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shawty wanna fuck? With me, just my type, and I took it to the hills one hell of a night, and I'm loving how I feel, everything alright. Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shawty wanna fuck with me, just my type, and I took it to the hills one hell of a night, and I'm loving how I feel, everything alright.
Another great reverb plugin you should not sleep on is the Valhalla Super Massive. This plugin is absolutely great for long tailed, super lush, rich sounding reverbs, and it's completely free. Here's a quick demo of what that sounds like. Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shawty wanna fuck with me, just my type. And I took it to the hills one hell of a night. And I'm loving how I feel, everything alright. Hey, yeah, I need a bad bitch riding by my side. Shawty wanna fuck with me, just my type. And I took it to the hills one hell of a night. And I'm loving how I feel, everything alright. Since we're on the topic of time-based effects, another category of plugins you want to make sure you have are some good delays. The simplest way to explain what a delay is for anybody who may not know is that it's, an, that echo. it's an echo. Delays are pretty straightforward to wrap your head around and are great for adding ear candy and bounce to your music. But be aware, if you don't have a versatile delay plugin, then your mixes may lack the ear candy and imaging they need to make your song sound special among the crowd of new music that is being released today. For your delays, the two third party plugins that I would recommend is H Delay from Waves and Echo Boy from Sound Toys. The H Delay is another plugin with a simple interface that's easy to understand that allows you to dial in some nice sounding delays quickly and also has a few features built in like a modulation and filter section again giving you some unique delay sounds hey yeah i need a bad bitch riding by my side shawty wanna fuck with me just my type and i took it to the hills one hell of a night and i'm loving how i feel everything all right and for the other delay on our list, it is a bit more budget heavy, but is an absolute essential that you will 100% need if you do not have it already, which is the Sound Toys Echo Boy. Although this plugin is a little bit older, the developers at Sound Toys really did knock this plugin out of the park when designing it. Like H Delay, Echo Boy has all your simple features like echo time, feedback, filters, and etc., but also introduces a ton of different features where you could adjust the groove and feel of your delay, add saturation, and play with the stereo imaging but also have the ability to play with different delay modes and different delay styles that all have their own unique character and sounds and much much more which makes this plugin one of the most versatile delay plugins that are currently out there on the market hey yeah i need a bad bitch riding by my side shawty wanna fuck with me just my type and i took it to the hills one hell of a night and i'm loving how i feel everything all right hey yeah i need a bad bitch riding by my side shawty you wanna fuck with me, just my type And I took it to the hills one hell of a night And I'm loving how I feel, everything alright Again, this plugin is a little bit more pricey, but if you could grab it, you absolutely will not be disappointed. And if you have a bit more money to spend, I would recommend for you to buy the Sound Toys 5 bundle, which includes the Echo Boy plugin, along with tons of other great effects plugins that will help you achieve some interesting and great sounds. Building on the topic of effects, another must-have plugin for beginner audio engineers is going to be a great pitch correction plugin. Pitch correction plugins like Auto-Tune and Wavestune Real-Time automatically tune your vocals giving them that modern tuned vocal sound she a bad bitch, yeah, real savage, yeah Shawty walking around, she got the baggage, yeah Although some DAWs like Logic and FL Studio have their own stock versions of these pitch correction plugins I find them to sound artificial and way too cheap in an unflattering way And if you don't have a good pitch correction plugin and you do not know how to sing You're just going to sound like another version of Ice JJ Fish So for that reason, the two pitch correction plugins I would recommend Would be any auto-tune version from Antares or Waves to in real time from Waves. Personally, the Autotune plugin that I like to use from Montares is Autotune Pro because it's super easy to use and personally, I think it sounds great compared to other Autotune plugins I've tried from other companies. Unfortunately, this plugin really does come with a hefty price tag, especially if you want to buy the perpetual license. But luckily enough, Antares offers a subscription plan where you could get access to all the different versions of Autotune along with some other plugins for $25 a month. Or you can get it for $175 if you pay for the subscription for the whole year, making the entry point a little bit more affordable for beginners. Now, I know subscription plans could be a headache, especially if the company locks you into an unbreakable contract for a whole year. So the other option you would have for a pitch correction plugin would be Wavestune Real-Time from Waves. You could purchase Wavestune Real-Time with a one-time payment of $40 and completely own it without having to pay for a subscription, which is the more budget-friendly option if 
if you wanted to save yourself some money. But to me personally, the interface isn't as flattering or straightforward as Auto-Tune, which can make it a bit more difficult for beginners to wrap their head around, but regardless, isn't too hard to understand and will still get the job done. She bad bitch, yeah, real savage, yeah. Shorty walking around, she got the baggage, yeah. And you been the one for me with the fit just riding denim jeans, yeah. And I don't know where to look right now. Couldn't say how many shots I took right now. And all I see is you when I look around. Sing along to all my songs when we riding around. That actually sounds pretty good. And the last category of plugins on our list today is going to be limiters. A limiter is an essential plugin that is commonly used on your mix bus or master track to limit the peaks of your entire mix, to prevent your audio from passing a certain level to avoid clipping or distortion, and to raise the overall average volume of your mix to make your song sound louder without damaging the audio quality. If you do not throw a limiter on your mix, then you will suffer from a song that sounds quiet and weak that will lack the impact it needs to compete with the loudness of other commercially released records. When I first started engineering, the first limiter plugin that I purchased was the Waves L2, which got the job done easily. To use this, all I had to do was throw it on my mix bus, click the two arrows in the middle and drag down until I was getting some gain reduction, then raise the output ceiling back to zero or negative 0.1, and you had a knocking mix. Once I got a little bit more money to invest into a nicer limiter, I then purchased the FabFilter Pro L2, which works the same, but has more options and flexibility as to how the limiter processes your sound. And you been the one for me with the fit just riding denim jeans, yeah. And I don't know where to look right now. Couldn't say how many shots I took right now. And all I see is you when I look around. Sing along to all my songs when we riding around. She bad bitch, yeah, real savage, yeah. Shorty walking around, she got the bag, yeah. And you been the one for me with the fit just riding denim jeans, yeah. And I don't know where to look right now. Couldn't say how many shots I took right now. And all I see is you when I look around. Sing along to all my songs when we riding around. So now that we've gone over all the essential plugins you would need as a beginner audio engineer, you can now feel confident knowing that you have all the basic plugins you need to make great sounding music. These plugins all sound great and will speed up your workflow tremendously, allowing you to create more high quality music effortlessly. Keep in mind, this is just a basic list of plugins you need to get started, and there's still a whole other world of tools out there that you could take advantage of to achieve a great sound. So if you want to learn more, then be sure to subscribe to the channel for all things engineering. And if you're a beginner engineer or just want to learn how to use Pro Tools to make high quality music yourself, then don't forget to click the link down below to join our Pro Tools recording course where I will show you everything about using Pro Tools and get you up and running like a professional engineer in no time. But if you want to learn more about how to put all these different plugins to use properly, then click here to check out this playlist where I show more in-depth examples of how to use these plugins properly to get the absolute best sound for your music. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.